All right, guys, before we get into this video, I want to talk to you about foottrading.co.uk. It's a website run by myself and V273, where we help you guys to make millions of coins on FIFA every single month. I know you guys mentioned that I talk about it a lot in my videos, but the reason for that is the website helps allow us both to be full time. And it means I'm able to bring out three, sometimes four videos a day on YouTube because I can pay for an editor and give those who can't afford the website um, as many trading tips as I possibly can do. £10 a month gets you access to tier one, which gives you buying and selling prices for silver cards, special cards, icons, and Thursday flips. Tier two is £15 a month. It includes all of tier one and access to live filters, our chem style area, which is extremely effective right now. Hundreds of thousands of coins being made every day from there. And our fluctuation area, where we monitor the market for lows and highs, allowing you to make as much coins as possible. So make sure you check it out. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you smash that like button. Let's try and get it up to 150 likes in this video. Um, this is your trading video for Thursday, however. We get three uploads on this channel. The morning upload is League SPC Method to Glory. It's where I show you how to craft players and packs essentially for free once you put an initial spend into the club. Um, to give you an example, I've spent 900,000 coins so far. This is my first owner untradable team. Um, so you can see the value back from doing the method. It's brilliant. Uh, like I said, this video is a trading video. And then the evening or nighttime video is whatever content we get on the game. At the moment, it's a lot of player picks, stuff like that that we use on a separate account that we trade on just so you guys can see what they're like. And it saves me spending any single penny of real money on this game and shows you guys you can do that. Um, I do just want to say again, massive thank you for all the mad support recently. We're nearly 3,000 subscribers up in a week. Um, we're nearly at 17,000, which is outrageous. And again, you guys are awesome. It, it means a lot to me. A lot of you have been asking about the website subscriber giveaway. It'll be recorded today. You'll see it tomorrow. So you'll be able to see who's won the website subscriber. One of you completely free, um, a free month for foottrading.co.uk. But this video, the videos for 5.15 p.m. have been... The 1 to 5 million, which we're on, on this account at the moment, which we're, near, we're nearing 3 million on, I think we're getting close to anyway, 2.8 million. Um, and a mixture of other trading methods. I'm, I'm mindful that I don't just want to bring out the 1 to 5 million because otherwise those of you with lower budgets that can't quite trade to that level yet won't be able to really engage with that, I guess. So I want to do mix it up with different ways of making coins um, on the game. Now, some of these methods you've seen before, some of them you've done before, some of them you haven't. I do try and bring new stuff out. But I want to go over in detail about things like silvers for tonight and rare golds for tonight and sort of go over in detail why I think they're good options for tonight. So we'll start off with the silvers um, and I'm going to give you guys filters that you can be using for tonight in terms of players you can buy. Now, I'm going to break down the silver trading relatively simplistically for you guys. I do talk about it a lot in videos, but I think some of you still struggle with it. When we talk about trading with silvers, we're talking about two things. Quick flips, which is instantaneously buying a card of the market that is undercutting everything else and selling it back onto the market again. And we're talking about investing. So that's what happens tonight. So tonight we get marquee matchups. We may get a player SBC. We may get a daily SBC. But they will give us some form of silver supply. Silver prices are mainly affected by supply from packs. People don't tend to open up silver packs very often. So supply usually comes in the way of a player SBC that has an electron pack as part of the rewards. Marquee matchups, the same thing. Or a daily SBC. What will happen tonight is everyone will open those packs up. Some will stack, but a lot will open up. And it will give you supply of silvers and so now i'm going to show you some filters right now that are really good to be using the first of these is wolves and it's goalkeeper and the reason we look at goalkeeper for wolves is because the only goalkeeper they've got is rare it's a rare gold patricio he's very high rated so because of that the silver goalkeepers rise massively in price so patricio right now is seven and a half thousand coins because he's that expensive the silver goalkeepers for wolves tend to rise up to that value too which means that tonight, when we get supply, you'll be able to see these Wolves goalkeepers come onto the market relatively cheap and you'll be able to pick them up and hold them until they rise again. Now, the most important thing that you do in this situation, because a lot of you've made this error, when you buy silvers, you do not buy the same of every single card. You use different filters. If you do not do that, you are making setting yourself up for a fall because they don't rise as you want them to rise. You're left holding on to loads of cards that are unsellable. Um, so make sure you spread your bets across it. But similar to Wolves, Leicester also have this problem. They've got the exact same problem as Wolves do. Their goalkeeper is an 84 rated gold. And so their silver goalkeepers tend to hold a much higher value. Now I'm going to buy that one. And I'm going to not buy that one. We'll put it back on again. This is an example of a, of a basic silver flip. It's not something I'd normally go for. I'd go for something a bit more valuable than that. But that's how you flip a silver. Um, so they hold quite high. So now what we're looking for tonight is the amount of supply. If we get two packs of silver supply from marquee matchups, you want the market to drop by 30-40% and then you buy in. Does it mean that every field will drop that much? No, it won't. But some will, without doubt. 
when you then get three packs of supply, you can 40 to 50% off. And then you think more than that, obviously, so on and so forth. Uh, but that's a really good filter there. Goalkeepers, Esther City. The obvious one here is West Brom. Pretty much every single filter for West Brom, as I've gone past it, is extinct. So the strikers, if I go strikers, silver, they're extinct. If you go midfielders, they're pretty much extinct at 10,000 coins. So a solid buy price on these tonight is like 7,000 coins. They should bounce up again. Six, 7,000 coins should see you do quite well. The problem is everyone knows that West Brom are expensive. So everyone's going to be sitting there chilling on West Brom because uh, I know they cost a lot. The defenders are completely extinct. Um, but when this happens, sometimes EA do heavily supply silver. So be mindful of that. It's something to think about. You don't want to be getting caught out. And again, Leeds defenders, they're quite high at the moment. Sort of 3,500 coins minimum. That's just the centre-backs as well. The left-backs and left-wing-backs are a lot more. I think they are left-wing-backs, if I'm not mistaken. It might be right-backs or right-wing-backs, but I think it's left-wing-backs. If you ask me, is it left-back? Wait, how high have these got? Yeah, so Alioski is high, high. <laughs> like 9,000 coins. How are these? Again, these are a very good one for tonight. Again, people are going to be looking at these because they're so high, but they are a good one for tonight, without a doubt, because if you can get some decent snipes on them, it's good. So that's the Premier League ones that I'd be looking at mainly if I were you. Uh, Ligue 1 is a bit meh. Angers strikers are, de are decent. Uh, these guys you can usually pick up for quite cheap in the long term. So the moment like a thousand coins, you should be able to pick these guys up tonight for four or five hundred coins and get double your profit back on them. They're quite good. Um, and Strasbourg CMs do quite well. Syria, same as always. Benevento, you're looking at defenders. You're looking at midfielders and goalkeepers. Check their price now. Again, 40-50% off is what you're looking for. And Udinese centre-backs do quite well. So what we're doing tonight is we're looking to buy these cards when they drop, but spread your bets across multiple filters. Don't just buy off the one filter, otherwise you'll screw yourself up. A lot of you guys just went and bought out Billerfield um, Silvers when I talked about the Billerfield guys. You all then mass listed, mass supplied, and you just screwed yourselves over. Split it amongst loads of different filters. Post 6pm, you buy into these cards, you hold them for 24, 48 hours, and you sell them on. I'm going to be blunt, I don't want to see comments in my YouTube section like, when do I sell these Silvers? I've literally just told you. 24, 48 hours... That's when you sell them. And you sell them when you're happy with the profit. When you are happy with the profit, that's when you sell silvers. If you buy a card for 4,000 coins, it gets up to 5,500. To me, that's when I would sell. I'm ready to be happy. 1,000 coins profit, very good. If I pay 500 coins, 300, 400 coins profit a card, I'm fine on. But it's all about quantity with silvers. It's the most profitable way to, spend, to trade, buy coins spent, but it's the most time intensive and you need to buy a lot of them. But you can make a lot of profit very, very quickly from silvers. It's really, 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 really good way to trade as easy as it gets. Then at 7 p.m., the most important thing you all forget to do, and that is bids. Bid on silver cards from 7 p.m. onwards. You can pick up cards that are normally 3,000 coins for discard price, basically, if you bid at 7 p.m. And that's basically how silvers work. I'm going to be doing that live on stream tonight. So if you want to come along on the stream, literally join it, click, go down below. The link will be there. I'll be doing this live so I can answer your questions. I can help you guys. It's, it's, it's mega easy, but it just does take a little bit of confidence and a little bit of question asking to get to where you are. But the other thing I like to look on tonight is rare gold. So I looked early on today at rare golds when rewards came around and they were relatively easy to snipe at close to discard. Now I'm talking about rare golds from major leagues and it's twofold. The first reason why is I know some of you are starting to stack up your rare golds and there's a video coming out soon by me on how you can use rare golds from major leagues to basically do the team of the year upgrade packs for very little cost, if not free. How you can stack your club up so that works basically. Um... But at the moment, we've got the 90 plus upgrade and the 81 plus double. And so rares are all very expensive right now. So no matter what happens, you're going to make profit back from them if you're bidding on them or sniping on them. But if we get any decent SBCs in the coming days and weeks, you know, in the weeks, I say coming days, in the build up to team of the year, daily SBCs and stuff like that, the major league ones do the best because you need to use some of them. But as an example, I'll show you my transfer targets. Before I came and did this video, I thought I'd have a little look and bid on some stuff. Uh, and relatively easily, I picked up this player, this Arnold, this Javi Martinez, this Olmo, and this Sinkraven. Now, are we talking massive profit in these cards? Not at all. There's no, they're not huge profit in these cards at all. Player, for example, I think is like, yeah, 1,000 coins is what he sells for normally. At the moment, he's slightly down because of rewards. Now, if I hold him a day or two, I'll go up. But again, if I go and buy 10, 15 of these players, I'll mass list him for 1,200, 1,300 for multiple reasons. One, daily SBC. People will just buy him and think, sorry, I need a player. Let me go and buy him 1,300. That's fine. Two, upgrade packs. People are looking to buy them. Again, they'll lazy buy them for that. And then three, league SBCs. If I need a striker for Munch and Gladbach for it, I will just get up striker Munch and Gladbach. If it's 1,300 coins, a lot of times people just buy that. Now, I wouldn't because I know what they're selling for, but people do do that. And it's something you've got to think about when it comes to buying these cards. But more effective than that, again, is once 7pm hits, bidding on these rares 
is massively effective and non-res. Gold commons are selling for eight, nine hundred coins as standard in most leagues right now. And if you're doing it major league and whatnot, snipe them up, but bid on them. But after 7 p.m., you're gonna have all the people that lazy listed all their cards sitting there. All those cards sitting there. So you're from six or seven, you go and buy all your silvers. From seven to eight, you go and buy all your golds. Eight to nine, you list all your golds. Silvers you hold to overnight, and you've gone two trading methods there, two types of coin farming and flipping and whatnot, and you've made very, very good profit. Now, once you've done all that there, you go back to your silvers again at about 10 o'clock at night, because what happens then is all of my community and the people that trade silvers get bored, and what then starts to happen is the market starts to st like stabilize, but people that are lazy then come in with big, big undercuts, and then you start to flip silvers. So when we talk about flipping the silver, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the filters right now. They're quite quiet at the moment, so I don't know what we will pick up, but if I go to like, if I go Bundesliga, let me go Union Berlin. Let's start these guys. So Union Berlin sh sh strikers are usually about 1,900, 2,000 coins. So 1,800 there. Nothing that I'm too interested in. Let's go centre mid. And all you're doing is flicking through the filters. If you're a website sub, you know the filters already because it's been put there for you. But this Perma, for example, I'll go and write by him because I know he's underneath the marker. And I'll compare price on this Perma right now. So 1,900 1, coins. Cheaper on the market right now for him is 2,600. So I'll list him up 2,500. He will sell. Guaranteed he will sell. And you can do that from about 10 p.m. tonight, even 9 p.m. tonight. You can do that, and it's extremely profitable. We're not talking the sort of likes of, oh, you make 10K from doing it. If you're willing to grind it up for a couple of hours tonight, you can make yourself a good 75, 100, 125K just by flipping those cards. Uh, I'll put this up here for now. Just throw it out of the way. I'll show them in a minute. And then again, I'll keep going for my filters. i go out CDM this time, like Grease Beck and people like that. So they're up right now. 2-5, no interest in them. They're too high. Then we go left back. And this is why silvers are so great, because there's so many different filters you can, you can touch. None there that I'm that bothered about. Right back to irrelevant. Let me go over to Munchen Gladback Keepers. Again, another team with expensive goalkeepers to a degree, because they've got a, um, a high-rated, 86-rated keeper there. Anyone there? So, no, not really. Head over to Syria. Where's Syria? This way, isn't it? Benevento. Defender. And we just see if there's any decent undercuts on these cards here. So... There's a couple of okay undercuts there, but nothing I'm that interested in. Like, they're okay. I mean, the centre-back, potentially, for a few hundred coins. I mean, yeah, I could buy a centre-back for, like, 300. What's the point? There's no point doing that at all. Again, let me keep flicking. Let's go to Bologna. Let's go Defender. Go a bit lower my price. And again, I'm doing this with zero silver supply. With silver supply tonight, you will see it... You'll see deal after deal after deal. It'll be so easy all night. So we're going to buy this Tomiyasu because he's a deal and this Paz. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare price on each of them because people do lazy buy them as well. So Paz is 2,600 coins. So I'm going to list him up for 2,004. Nearly 1,000 coins profit on him alone. Tomiyasu will be about 1,800. He's usually in much more than that. But we'll have a little look to check. No, about 2,000 coins on him. So again, I'm doing this no supply tonight. When you get to 9 p.m. and everyone stopped buying them, people then start to list them and they sit for a lot longer. It's when I, in my opinion, it's when I start instant flipping. I start looking for cards that I can instant flip that I'm not holding overnight, make my profit there. So then what I've got is gold selling, if I was doing it this way, gold selling as I'm buying more silvers to flip. And then I've got a chunk of silver sat there in investments. It's basically a massive cauldron pot of profit, basically, that will build up very, very quickly. My one bit of advice to you, though, is to try and sell up before, ideally before tomorrow night, because we don't know what's coming. We might get a loading screen tonight for team of the year, um, the nominees and stuff like that. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to hold on to him for much longer than I am holding on to him for right now. Uh, but that is the end of the video, guys. Get involved tonight. The only other thing, pardon me, only other thing you might want to do as well tonight is, again, is pre-investing in La Liga silvers. So look on Footbin at teams that are silver heavy. I'm talking Elche, Ibar can be a bit one of those ones, uh, Huesca, those sort of guys. You want to look on Footbin at the teams that are silver heavy and buy into to silvers from the La Liga Although we may get an La Liga SBC tonight, which will offset that. If we don't get that tonight, buy in. Buy one of every silver. I've said it a million one times. If you listened to my advice before, you would have been one of those guys that bought the West Brom guys for 1,000 coins and sold them for 10,000 coins each. As I, as, as I say, it's going to be the end of the video. If you are new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload. But for now, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.